Good Friday morning to you, friends. I hope this message finds you well, enjoying life as much as you can. A few years ago, I felt a lump every time I would swallow, and eventually it felt like I had a cough ball stuck in my throat. So I went to see my doctor. He took MRIs, x-rays, the whole schmear. And turned out I had cancer. Obviously, it didn't kill me because that was five years ago. I went to see a surgeon, and she said, oh, it's not a problem. It's uh, all self-contained. We can get it all. And to the best of my knowledge, she did just that. And she left a little scar. But that is the only thing that's left. It's just a reminder of what happened. Things could have ended much worse. I sought out the advice of an expert and the services of an expert, a different expert, to get rid of the cancer. Maybe there's something in your life that is a type of cancer. It could be physical, but that's not exactly what I'm referring to. I'm referring to something that is bothering you or that is hurting you, perhaps emotionally or um, spiritually. Why don't you seek the advice of an expert? There is safety in a multitude of counselors. That's a scripture in the King James Bible. However, don't surround yourself with idiots. A multitude of counselors doesn't mean a multitude of morons. It means somebody that can help you. Somebody that looks out for your interest, not their own. Somebody who desires better for you. Those are the type of people you need to speak with. Maybe they can help perform a surgery. You know? Maybe there's a habit you're trying to kick. Maybe that, that needs cut out. Examine your own spirit and your own mind today or any day, whatever day you're seeing this video and Ask yourself, what do I need to cut out of my life? I would say there may be some who have nothing, but I cannot imagine that. Uh, maybe there's a perfect person. I don't know. I know if, if there is such a person, I'm not that person. And I doubt any of us is that person. I think we all need some spiritual surgery from time to time. And I have people who can help me. I want you to invite the people around you. Um, and I don't necessarily mean in your immediate physical proximity, but even, even friends that you have online. I, lots of relationships anymore from one continent to the next or even halfway around the world. So don't be afraid to go to the spiritual doctor, go to the, the emotional doctor. Maybe they can help you perform a surgery on your life. Don't be afraid. And don't forget that I love you. If no one else does, I do. I recommend everyone find somebody to love. Seek them out. Maybe you don't even have to seek them out. Maybe they're in your own home. Maybe you have a habit of taking them for granted. That is something that can be cut out. Make yourself tell the ones around you that you love them. If you love them. If you don't love them, don't say it. But 
I just say it and mean it. Okay? I'm going to be gone. Well, I'm going to be out of town, but I'm probably still going to be making my daily... Um, I call them messages. What, what would you call this? Mozo's Moments? Mozo's Minute? Papa Knows? Papa Stots? Um, I would like something, either Papa Mozo or Papa Knows, one of those two, because so many people say that to me. So, give me your suggestions, though. I'm wide open. would love to hear your ideas. Until next time, I bid you all a very fond farewell. Bye-bye for now.